Today I'm gonna show you how to remove a old copper pipe with a new PEX plastic pipe and this is going to be in the shower. Uh, keep in mind, uh, I am not a plumber, but I'm trying to do this on my own instead of coming a plumber and, and have who knows how much they're gonna charge me for this project. So as you can see, this is corroded. There's a lot of corrosion there, but the corrosion is only in this area. So what I will do is that I'm going to cut uh, this, um, the, uh, this copper pipe from here and then I'm going to recreate the whole PEX pipe system uh, all the way to the top for the shower. I got the ball from Home Depot, so I'm just going to recreate the whole thing. I'm going to use no PEX pipes and this should be fun. So this is uh, the tools that I got to recreate what I needed um, for the shower. So I think I got this uh, fixture for the shower and uh, it comes with a ball and, uh, and I have some pipes right here and also I do have this copper cutter and this is gonna make it easy for me to cut that copper. One thing that I got uh, is this this adapter that is going to be plugged straight up to the copper pipe and then I have this other one that is going to be uh, plugged to the PEX. Another thing that I got was this uh, PEX clamp tool which it has these uh, uh, shark bites and these shark bites are going to make sure that the pegs are, are fast and, and I don't have water leaking. The next step will be shutting down the water main. This is a super easy step. All you have to do is to grab the pipe cutter, uh, press it around it, and once you press it around it, you twist it. When you twist it, please make sure that you don't do any unnecessary twist because if you do that, that can create additional points of failures for the water to be leaking. Utilizing the clamps and the shark bites will allow you to create a seal to ensure that you don't have water leaking. So the water main has been turned on. I do not see any leaking of water anywhere. There's a little bit of water here. So when, when I cut the pipe, uh, there was water uh, that burst a little bit, but that's fine. I mean, like I do not see any type of water coming out. So it does look like pretty good to me. I'm just gonna give it a few minutes, couple, maybe like a few hours. That will work better to make sure that um, that this is uh, waterproof because the last thing I want to do is to have water leaking uh, after I seal this portion of the shower. When you're recreating your mechanism, please make sure that you allow yourself to use enough plumber tape to ensure that there's not water leaking and you have a tight seal. Okay, so as you can see, I'm done with this project. I use this bracket to st stabilize the ball. I use this cramper tool so I can use this uh, uh, shark claws, I believe this goal. I am I'm done with all this. All I have to do is to start finishing the bathroom. But if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps our channel to grow. And I'll see you next time.